The Generative Electronic Dance Music Algorithmic System, also known as GEDMAS, is a generative music system derived from the research conducted by the Generative Electronica Research Project within Simon Fraser University's Metacreation Agent and Multi-Agent Systems Lab. This generative music system was created as a Max for Live patch within an Ableton Live template set. It is capable of generating and playing song form structures, rhythms, and melodies. The Generative Electronica Research Project, also known as GURP, is based on the analysis of four genres of electronic dance music, uh, those genres being breakbeat, house, dubstep, and drum and bass. This version of the system, however, is based on the analysis of 24 breakbeat songs or tracks. Each of the tracks were chosen for their genre-defining traits and were transcribed in detail by ear. Features such as the rhythm, melodies, harmonies, song form, note onsets, and timbre were added to the corpus database. Probabilistic models and first-order Markov chain algorithms are used in this system to generate each form, rhythm, and melody. GEDMAS is comprised of 16 channels, or 16 tracks, which house the virtual instruments to be played. There are also 8 MIDI clips for the patterns, and 8 MIDI clips for fills, and a whole channel for one hits. All new generated patterns are sent to each clip and replace the existing MIDI sequence inside. The Max for Live patch has two main areas for generation. You have a score generator and you have a pattern generator. If I click on the score generator window, there's a selection of tracks that can be selected from the corpus. Then a form can be generated by clicking on the generate form button. This also generates instrumental onsets from which the patterns are played. This other area of generation is for generating the individual patterns. Instrumental patterns or sequences can be generated individually or they can be generated all together at once. Each pattern is also generated from the corpus data. Upon clicking the Generate and Dump button, the patterns are generated according to the previously generated form and onsets. A whole new set of patterns can be generated by pressing the Generate and Dump button again. The patterns generated are sent to the live clips as MIDI sequences. Before this track will play, I have to make sure that the Fun Time button on the patch is selected. This will ensure that the transport from live is sent to the patch. The instrumental timbres can be selected individually, or they can be selected all at once through random selection. The Start button then tells live to start the transport and triggers the onsets from the generated score. The patch is sent live's transport and will launch each clip accordingly to its position in the form's timeline. This is similar to the way a tracker sequencer works. The track will automatically launch and stop the patterns. Instrumental timbres can also be changed on the fly.
Pressing the record button, or arming the record button, the generated pattern sequences can be recorded into Live's arrangement view. You can also set the tempo to its most extreme setting, mute the audio, then record faster than real time. You can see the form unfold as it records. This whole song has now been recorded into the arrangement view, can now be played back like any other arranged song. Each of the parts will play in the proper sequence and can be saved. Future versions will include fill and one-hit generation, generative mixing and signal processing, generative timbral selection, and a larger corpus of data from the other three genres. Mm -hmm. 